What is up, YouTube? You may be wondering why I'm wearing a hat. It's because I woke up at like 4.30 to drive my dad to the hospital to get an angiogram. So I'm quite tired, to be honest, and my hair was all in a mess, and I just didn't really feel like showering. So yeah, we're going to be doing our guild war attacks today. Uh, we are fighting against economy. And we're going to be trying to stay as clean as possible. Um, they're not really in contention of any Hall of Fame or anything like that. Um, but ideally, I do want to try to, you know, find some good scout teams so that you guys can kind of use them as well in your own attacks. And yeah, try to stay clean. Let's go 3-0. And if you guys do enjoy, obviously, as always, please drop a like and comment below. Um, and I guess the most important thing, subscribe. So let's go right ahead. So for our first attack, I'm going to be hitting Pagani, and this is going to be a scout. So first team is going to be Emil, uh, Emil Pauly, Emil Senya, and then Genua. So I'm going to be going with uh, Amid here. She's going to be at 294 speed with immunity on Fan of Light and Dark, on release imprint for the Kisei, obviously. Our Kisei is going to be on destruction set and immunity set, on symbol of unity, and on S2 damage EE. And then our candy is going to be on protection set. So protection, HP, release imprint for the rest of the team. And I'm going to be going Holy Sacrifice. Now, the whole point behind this comp is basically you're letting the poly move. Because you're buff stacking with anti-crit, uh, barrier set, and immunity, immunity is going to stay onto the Amid and on the Kisei, which means you're not going to get pushed back and you're not going to get speed down. And obviously, for example, if Janu is like, you know, 300 speed, for example, it's going to be baited into the candy so that you don't have any worries at all. And the whole idea behind this is poly moves and then Amage's S2, S3 pushes Kisei above everybody else. Kisei is going to S3 raw dog into the Senya S2 sweep her and then also uh, proc the Janua, which is why we need to have the symbol of unity. Because that symbol of unity is going to allow us to hit the Janua if they're on a dot artifact, something like Shepherd of the Hollow, MLDB, and things like that. Uh, for the second team, it's Kong, uh, DDR, and Candy. I think a lot of people, whenever they see this, a lot of people think like to play Beatom or like Benny Maru or something like that. Um, if they have a lot of debuffs like this, you can just play something like Hand Guy, right? So Hand Guy is going to be like pretty solid because you can have Warhorn, right? Kong at one turn, two turn, DDR another turn. That's Warhorn proc for sure, right? Um, and then we're going to have Emil Senya on the front, which is just on 3F speed and HP, just because I like using her. And uh, two, dark, two light units are going to be hitting my LCB, so I think it should be probably... It'll probably work. Um, but the whole idea is basically these two units are going to move. We're going to cleanse with hand guy. We're going to raw dog S3 into the candy. Kill her. And then when she's dead, basically, you can't really lose the fight from that point on. Yeah. you could If you don't have Emil Sanya, you can run stuff like, you know, maybe like LRK. Um, you could do, you know, Emil Ken for this comp with like Christy or something like that. But um, this is the combo I'll be going with. So let's go um, right ahead. Alright, so we see that it's Spatial Temporal Fan, and it's going to be C Phantom Politis, a 17.1k HP. And we're not going to get pushed back, as you can see here, because we have the immunity. We're going to grab the CR screenshot for the rest of the team, or, I mean, guild. And then I'm going to S2, and then I'm going to S3. And the great thing about this comp is that, uh, you know, Janua is going to S3 into Candy, the skill nullifier, right? Um, even if it kills and crits twice, we have Holy Sacrifice to come back. So Kisei S3, and then we're going to S2 Raw Dog. This should kill. Beautiful. And uh, since we already know it's Spatial Temporal Fan, it, this is already like pretty much a guaranteed win. Um, especially because he can't Windrider here, right? Beautiful. He's going to S1, drag, but it doesn't really do anything. Uh, we're just going to S1 here. And I don't think he can 100 to 0 me, but even if he does, we still have Holy Sack, so there's not much to worry about here. Okay. See, we're just just tanking it like a boss. And uh, I'm just going to regular S1 because we want to save Solburn for Kisei. And that actually finished. Oh, we didn't finish Amapoly, unfortunately. But I'll hit this. Why not? And then just Solburn. Get her out of the game. She's going to press. And then Amy can finish. Yeah. Please have faith in me. Pretty clean. I really like this comp. Now, obviously, it's not a bulletproof team because you can. There are some, you know, ways to trap it, but that's one I've been really liking so far. Uh, so, Conquer Lilith is going to be on 17k HP and pushes back. Okay, didn't get the push back. DDR is 15.9k. Shout out to Pagani, by the way. He's a uh, one of my friends. 
Uh, S3, so we're going to grab the CR bar here, and then we're going to S3 with Hand Guy. Anytime you have Warhorn, by the way, um, if you're reporting information as a scout with Hand Guy, just make sure you include the speed of your Senya, not the Hand Guy, because obviously you're getting the 15% CR. Um, and it can be kind of misleading if you're like, oh, I'm 230 speed and I got Warhorn cut, blah, 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 right? Like, it might confuse your guild, so it's better to just kind of, you know, give the secondary unit. Uh, okay, so we're going to S3 Candy, pushes up our LCB. We're for sure going to kill, so I'm just going to S3 to get AoE Vigor for the rest of the team. And then uh, it's pretty much over, right? Or, I mean, I would say it's, like, literally over. Uh, we're just going to go Hand Guy, or, sorry, uh, DDR here. Resist it. All good. We have Soul Burn with our LCB very soon. Okay. Yeah, super clean. Efficiency. Um, yeah, obviously you could probably also like you could you know rank cleave LCB. You can have Ken. Um, LRK. There's a lot of different comps that you can run into this. Oh, it's also POV conk. Something to put into our notes. Um, but yeah, nice and clean. Uh, first scout done. Let us move over to our next two scouts and hopefully stay clean. Alright, so for our second attack, we're going to be hitting Min P99. It is a scout, so it's Emil Senya, Green Selene, and Aiden. So I personally think this is a pretty weak defense, but I do want to test LPK. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be going with Aimid here, who is going to be at 304 speed. Now, you don't have to be, like, in a, in terms of being, re like, relatable, you don't have to have a 304 Aimid. You could just run, like, you know, 280, 290, like, whatever you can manage on your account. Um, I'm going to be running Gala on attack boots on speed set, so I'm still 236 speed. And the reason for this is so that Aimid can S2, S3 push her up to guarantee the turn. Because obviously, you know, Selene's going to cut, it could be Secret Art Storms with Aiden and stuff like that. So we want to make sure that we have that kind of coverage. And then our LPK is going to be at 285 speed. We're going to be running with the uh, Dispel Stealth EE. And um, I, I think this is going to be a pretty cool um, one to use. I mean, if I was going to try to kill Selene first, but obviously we're not doing that. I'm going to try to kill the Aiden. But regardless, if we cycle enough turns, hopefully we're, we are going to be able to use this. But yeah, we're going to basically try to kill the Aiden. Um, Selene's going to S2 into our skill null, and it should be fine. So um, yeah, bottom is going to be uh, Emma, Polly, Senya, and Genua. So I'm going to be going with Yola here. She's going to be on Holy Sacrifice and on Protection HP set. And I'm going to be running my Monk here, who is going to be at uh, 285, 100 crit chance with Immunity and Guiding Light. And I'm actually going to release the Imprint while we're here, since it's more attack for the Rowana. And then I'm going to be running ML Rowana in the back as our Book Holder, who's going to be on Book and just basically full attack. Well, I say full attack, but this should be an attack ring, but uh, I, I can't be bothered. Um, so the whole idea behind this is Yolha has protection set and you might be thinking, why are we running protection set if it's going to get stripped? Well, we definitely need to buff stack. So we're going to have things like uh, immunity on our knock wall. We have guiding light stealth, and then we have protection set, uh, from our Yolha so that when we do get S3 from the poly, we're not going to get pushed back and speed down, which could potentially lead to things like Senya S3 provoking us or Genua S3 one-shotting something in RNLing. Um, this way... You know, we have the immunity, we retain our position on the draft, and then we can Soul Burn S3, S2 Seal, and then play the rest of the draft with Rowana and then things like that. Obviously, there is a condition where if, you know, Genua is on a Dodge Artifact and we miss S3 and it's with this binded and whatever, we still have a chance to seal it. Um, and remember, seal doesn't have to actually have to land in terms of an, a successful attack, I believe. Someone might have to fact check me uh, on that in the comments. Um, but the whole idea is basically Soul Burn S3, reset everything, S2, Rowana S3, and then everything pre should pretty much more or less be dead. And then Yulha can always easily just tank a Genua S3 and then commit the S3 damage to one of the units on field. So it should be pretty free. Uh, so let's give it a try. I'm more so excited for the top team though. So let's go um, right ahead. All right, so um, it is on Stun EE. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. All right, if I, 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 I fucked up. We, we, we might lose. I totally forgot to put immunity on my other units. Oh, my God. Oh, it's fine, I guess. I guess never punish because streamer luck. Never punish. So push Gala. Gala's going to S3 into the... I mean, it was all calculated. Smile. So uh, Gala Esther's into Senya. We are able to kill. Oh my god. I have to now. S3. Never mind, guys. Fake panic. Fake panic. 
I'm gonna S2, kill Aiden, and then tank the S3 from Selim. All calculated, actually. All calculated. All calculated. Like, y'all thought I was gonna lose that? Not even close, baby. Headshot. Um, in hindsight, you should probably go in immunity. My bad. Uh, Polly's gonna S3. She's 11.6k HP. Monk retains her position on the comp. I'm gonna Soul Burn S3 to land bind. And then hopefully it's not on a dodge artifact. That is a really fast Renewa though. That was like 260 speed. Binded. Now I'm going to S2 seal on Genua. And then just Raw Dog S3 with our Rowena here. Push his back, reset. Can't dual attack here. Senya commits a hit. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't really love this position that we're in. I'm not gonna lie. Oh boy. Oh brother. Oh brother. Oh brother. It got resisted. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's not holy sack, right? Yay! It's not holy sack. It's all calculated. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Me, me, we might we might have misplayed a little bit. We we might have misplayed a little bit. But but you know what? We didn't die, so that's what's important, right? S one. We crit. Nice. Can't say nice and clean. But I'll take it. All right, let's move to our third attack today then. So for our third attack, we'll be hitting Lin Van, and it's going to be another scout. It's going to be Yuffie and Karina and Blood Moon Haste. So a lot of people in my Twitch chat as of yesterday was asking me, oh, like, how do you hit Blood Moon Haste and um, the Pistol Yuffie comps? One thing I want to kind of quickly say is if you ever do see Emil Yuffie on defense, you always want to take a look and immediately and just think, like, is there a way to Elvira? Because if you Elvira, you completely neutralize her kit and you make it much easier, right? It opens the door for things like, you know, LRK, uh, if there's no Blood Moon Haste, right? Um, obviously, Elvira plus two is always going to be the answer. So in this case, I'm going to be going with Elvira to cancel out the, uh, the Abyssal Yuffie Fighting Spirit. And we're going to be running, you know, a, just a standard like PvP build. And then we're going to be running Doris. This one's going to be a little bit of a different build. Like, usually you see her around, like, 21, 22, 23k HP. Um, this one, you really got to crank out a little bit more HP because, obviously, you have to tank a Bloodwind Haze S3. You're tanking, you know, potential uh, dual attacks uh, from the Bloodwind Haze stripping your defense because you don't have a lot of ER. And Yuffie obviously just has innate ability of, you know, countering or Elversing every turn. And, you know, there's potential rocket punch and stuff like that. So you want to make sure she has enough bulk to survive. And we're going to be running Water's Origin to give her that extra survivability. Uh, on the third unit, we're going to be running Emil Shu since they're all they're kind of HP scaling in terms of Bubbling Haste. So to cut down some of their damage, I'm running POV and then Release Imprint so the doors gets a little bit more damage. If you want to fully optimize this, and I don't really want to because I don't want to, you know, spend too much gold. Um, you could just change this to like a Draco plate or something, and then put a POV on Doris. It'll make it you know just as easy. It could probably lower your gear requirements a little bit as well. Uh, for the bottom, it's going to be Emil, Emil Poly, Senya, and Genua. So. You guys already saw this attack earlier, but I already have this geared, so I'm going to figure I might just kind of give it another go. So I'm going to pop a Holy Sack here on my candy, and then I'm going to be running Aim It uh, 294, Immunity as well, again, so that we can buff stack and risk, um, remove the, in the ability of getting pushed back and speed down. Same thing for uh, Kisei, we're going to be on Destro and Immunity, Symbol of Unity, and then obviously S2 damage EE. And again, Symbol for Dodge Artifact Genua. And yeah, should be pretty clean, so let us go right ahead. All right, so we're going to grab the screenshot good? here. Uh, obviously, there's no exclusive equipment to pay attention to. I'm going to be committing my first S3 into the Blood Moon Haste no because this is not going to proc the Karina S2, right? And the main thing is if I don't proc the Karina S2, then I want to chunk down Blood Moon Haste's damage because he is HP scaling. And on this S3, I can either go Yuffie or I can go Karina. Uh, obviously, uh, Yuffie is not really that big of an issue, so I'm going to go with Karina because obviously I don't want her to... Uh, do a lot of damage with her S1 rocket punches and S3 since it scales off defense. So if I can land a D break, perfect. With skills like yours, you and uh, it's pretty nice that it actually goes into our Elvira as well because this basically just means that we're never getting D broken. And then I'm just going to S2 with our Doris. Bloomin' Haze is already at 16.8k HP. And then we're basically just going to slowly start working down the, um, the Karina here. And then let the splash damage do its work. 
this S1 might kill since she's death broken, especially on a second block. Hopefully we stick some Beguile here, and it looks like we do kill. Awesome. Uh, so that's not a big deal. Uh, we're just going to commit an S3 now. Since we've already applied, you know, a decent chunk of injury already on the Blood Moon Haze, we don't really, you know, care if they have Grudge. Um, the strip is a little bit annoying. Uh, it is Hellstein confirmed. So that's dead. Uh, just so that I don't give him an extra strip, I'm just going to S1 on Dor uh, on Doris onto the e -beam. He doesn't strip me. That's nice. We tank it. Nice. And just wait. Just S1. And I'm going to... Just S1, you can. Do I get strip? No buffs to for him to strip, so that's good. S1, you can. Hopefully stick Beguile again. But yeah, like, it's... I would say this is, like, a really consistent team. Like, even if it was countering us every hit, like, it wouldn't really that big of an issue because we still have stuff like Water's Origin proccing. Um, so I'm going to Soul Burn this. Since we don't really need to uh, burn souls for the LB Rift, it's all good. Uh, pay attention to Bobo Haze. He has one more turn. I'm going to commit the S3 onto the Yufin. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much over. 3k. 3k damage means it's not going to kill, but we're just going to finish him off here. And since Yufin's already death broken, since S1 scales off defense, like we don't really need to care about her anymore, right? And from the get-go, we already didn't care about her because we had Elvira. And so, yeah, we just finish her, finish him off. Also, he's life still EE, so definitely want to include that on the information when you're reporting um, as a scout. So that's dead. Awesome. Not Holy Sack either, so... Or maybe it's not Max, I don't know. So we actually outsped... Fuck, I'm too fast. That's a little bit annoying. Um. Well, I hope this is fine. Still I don't think I'm going to make the cut with Kisei, though. That's the only problem. But I have a lot of buffs, so I don't think it's going to matter. We'll it shouldn't the matter. The Odyssey of your life. Yeah, because the, the, the buff stacking goes left to right, so I don't think it really matters. Yeah, so I, I, I lose Swift Boots. Fuck, I lose Swift Boots. That's a little bit annoying. Mm. Maybe it's fine. We'll see. Yes, reason to me. I lost my skill null already. Senya's just gonna S1, 35k, S2, Proc Genua. This is, this is where the importance of Holy Sack comes in, right? If you don't have Holy Sack here, it's, uh, it's a very scary situation to be in. But considering we... Now, I... I'm actually going to commit a hit onto Polly Because I'm just going to Soul Burn Candy to go for the splash to kill here. And even though we basically have no stats, like, they have... So the Polly doesn't have enough HP to survive. So the Holy Sack goes. He's going to splash into Aimid. Oh, never mind. I actually didn't even finish the first hit. Wow. Lucky me. And then Kisei can finish. Okay, obviously this one looked a lot more sus. But I guess it was still fine. Maybe slowing down the Aimid by like 10 speed would be better. Better optimization. Um, but yeah, that's our third attack. All right, so that's going to do it for today's Guild War video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Some of those attacks were a little bit sus, but um, I think we prepped well enough so that we didn't die like little doggy. But um, yeah, as always, please drop a like, comment on the algorithm. I will be releasing my Guild War spreadsheet onto my Discord uh, coming up, I think, today or tomorrow. I need to work with my uh, one of my bot makers for that. But um, just to give you guys a little sneak peek, um, this is basically how it's going to look. We're basically working on releasing all the most meta comps right now. So there's Genua, Polly, Senya. And here it shows the comps. It shows the artifacts, all the different options in case you're missing some of these units. And there's going to be a write-up 
on how to play it basically like what your build should be the positioning for imprints um, how to play each turn depending on you know what happens so if you guys are interested on in that make sure you join my discord and this is limited to subscribers only so make sure your twitch is linked to your discord and that way we can see the integrations and then you're able to you know use the bot um, in my discord channels um, and obviously a lot of people have been requesting for this uh, NATO zoom in all right a lot of people have been asking for to bring this back uh, i definitely have uh shrunk in size a little bit i feel like or maybe it's just a little bit of body dysmorphia i don't know but um you know there you go flex chun is back if you guys want it to come back for good let's get a hashtag flex chun in the comments and if there's enough of those then you know we'll bring a barack all right as always thanks for supporting the channel and watching the videos and i'll see you guys on the next video whenever that'll be take care bye